Hi everyone and welcome to today's latest mix up build videos that I create for your enjoyment. Today's latest build is focusing on a strong elemental electric discharge lancer set using the Tower of Crest Thunder Lance, which with its strong attacks and its very strong slash high thunder element, you'll become the embodiment of Kirin by the end of this, which I don't know if that's really a good thing or not since most people hate you and others admire you, so I guess pick the poison. So now I call this set the Thunder Piger build. As I was originally going to call it the 4 build, but you know it just doesn't seem right by calling it a 4 build when 4 uses a hammer, but anyways, it's kind of a rare to create a strong elemental build in this game, because of the elemental cap introduced by the dev team, and because of that with some weapons that can't reach max elemental damage, basically makes it very hard for elemental weapons in game to be on par against non-elemental weapons. Now, use elemental weapons are still fun and still fine to use and they're still viable, but 9 times out of 10, using a non-elemental weapon will be a lot more better because the damage is much more higher and those weapons there don't have a damage cap compared to elementals. However, thanks to the Tower of Colvie event, we were introduced to a bunch of reskin weapons that had a few stat changes to make them even more stronger than their counterparts. And one of them was the Tower of Crest Thunder Lance, which comes with a whopping 600 thunder element, plus more when you increase it with a thunder element of skill or tool. Now I personally believe that this weapon is the strongest thunder lance in game currently, just because of its thunder stat alone, and it's also pretty generous in terms of sharpness. Like for many people who don't know, it has a bit of blue sharpness that you can extend, but its green sharpness is really long, enough to last you for an entirety of a fight. And I was genuinely lucky to grab this weapon at the end of the event before it disappeared. So I decided to play around with it, experiment with it, creating a build based around its strengths. And personally, this set here that I created will provide you the necessary damage from both attack and elements combined into one. And also provide you with a safety need in terms of surviving a fight longer, such as having guard or medicine skills or even health up skills. Now, the skills I went with all focus around strengths. The weapon excels in to give you a good damaging lance capable of taking on any monster weak to lightning. I also augmented my weapon to have a health augmentation so I can gain back health and be aggressive on the monster at the same time. But I also found that having an affinity og instead of a health og is also useful if you want to hit around 90% affinity for the build. But with what I currently have here I have around 100 but I only recommend you put an affinity onto your weapon if you don't have the following jewels that I have. So here are the following skills used. I have Thunder Attack 5 to max out the thunder damage on the weapon, which makes it lethal against monsters weak to thunder. Handicraft 1 for the small boost in sharpness, which is really more of a byproduct of having the Colby Waste. Recovery up 3 to allow me to gain more health back per hit when combined with a health augmentation. But if you're not using a health augmentation, then the skill will only be useful when you're using your potions. So it's more or less up to you to decide on whether to keep it or swap it out for something else. Free Element 3 to fully unlock the weapon from its hidden stat. Witness Exploit 3 for that extra damage upon crits, and also because it's such a good skill that you can rarely miss out on. Guard 3 to allow us to block moves successfully without flinching or being moved. Blight Resistance 1, which is a knock on effect from using the Kieran Y set. And lastly, Maximum Might 3 that gives us a big boost in affinity by giving us 30% free affinity to our build to our current set. Overall, this set will give you an overall damage of 403, where you'll find a stat reaching a level of 760 which for some odd reason hasn't reached its cap yet, as usually when an elemental hits its cap, it will go orange. In this case here, it only stays white. So I'm not sure if this is a bug or if this is basically for telling us something's going to happen in the future, but yeah, we just work with what we kind of got. And I also have 100% affinity, making this a very worthwhile experiment to build to play until your heart's content. Now with this set here, you'll be able to take on any monster that is weak lightning which is pretty much half the monsters in game, and landing on just the monster's weak point will net you a lot of damage, ranging, from time to time, 50, 60, 70, or even 80 plus damage. I believe at one time I managed to get around 100 plus hitting the monster's weak point, but that kind of varies every now and then. But you only see these large numbers if the monster is weak to thunder, and you're aiming at the monster's weak point at the same time. If you're not, most times your damage can vary to around a low 20 to a high 50 if it's not on monster's weak point, which is more or less still great damage, 
but it can be even more when you're focusing on doing combos and you're focusing on the monster's weak points. Now your combo should be a simple shield up when you can and poke when the monster leaves itself vulnerable to you. As you want the monster for your defense, which is a simple knowledge when using Lance. But at the same time, you should be also mixing it up every now and then, as you don't want to stay in one place all the time. And repeat the same process over and over and over again, even though that's going to happen anyway. So really, you're going to be doing the standard three pokes, then dodge, then three pokes, dodge, or shield up. And repeat this process over and over again until the monster is generally down. Now, if you're aiming at a monster that is three star weak to thunder, and you aim at the weak point at the same time, and then let's say you get around, at best, 50 damage per hit. Then that's a simple 50 times 3 equals 150 damage overall from that one simple combo. Which, once you get the hang of the combo and the flow of lancing, this can add up to be much more bigger numbers as you'll be able to dodge and weave out the monster's attack much more efficiently, block when you can, and then it will allow you to be more aggressive. So in less times you'll be losing your shield less times and dodging wise you'll be getting so flexible to the point of where you probably won't even need to use your shield at all. You can dodge a monster's move, that means you can get have more uptime. More uptime means more damage and more damage means a guess better runs if that's your thing. I would also highly recommend you use a master the art of lance charge attack to close the gap when tackling monsters. This here will allow you to do a bit of damage to the monster but mainly close the gap so you can pull off damage much more quick and efficiently like you can't see me doing in the video. Also while you're at it, do dodge when you're not blocking as a lance dodging move is really good when you know how to time it properly as it can give you more uptime compared to when you're blocking instead. But like many things, it varies that time as you won't always be able to pull this move off successfully so do tread carefully. And that everyone is how you create a mighty fine lightning lance build, 100% crit 100% fancy and 100% amazing at taking on any monster that is weak to thunder. This here will make you feel as if you were 4, again, but only if you use a hammer instead of a lance, and he didn't look as if he chucked on a bunch of armor and called it a day. Uh, we call, we'll probably just call this a younger version of 4 when he was having identity crisis at will. Now, if you enjoy the content, then do leave a like and a sub, as I would appreciate it a lot if you do. Boards again. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon.